We hate to see our kids struggling, but jumping in too soon to solve the problem isn't always as helpful as you may think. A guest on Coffee Group today say it's OK to fail. We welcome back parenting advisor John Cowan and Rich Rowley from the Mind Lab. Rich, are our kids starved of challenges these days? Uh, absolutely not. Um, at work, all of our learning activities are designed to be really, really challenging. And as educators, our role is actually to step back and let them figure things out for themselves. And um, we actually have to talk explicitly about it being OK to fail. And we, we actually call it the first attempt in learning. So, John, I guess in character building, um, that's how we would describe when kids fail. It would be very unfortunate if children never get to experience a bit of frustration and the occasional failure if they go right through childhood always with parents engineering that everything's going to be a success, then they're totally unprepared for real life. So for both of you, what's the most helpful thing to say to a child if they can't work out a math pro pro uh, problem or they don't get the role in the play that they wanted? Um, for me, it's, it's a thing called growth mindset, which is turning the I can't do that into a I can't do that yet. Mm. Empathise if a child has failed, you know, if they fail to get into a play or to do something that they've really got their heart set on. You empathise. It's, it's awful not uh, succeeding, but uh, then coach them to how to handle that failure and how to try again and uh, how not to totally write themselves off as a failure. I'm hoping that you two can just come over and hang out at my house. I've got two yeah. boys, five and six. <laughs> um, you know, I see this at the schoolyard. I see it when I take my kids to sports, but are parents' expectations a little too high for children these days? I think it's, it's good to have high expectations. Setting high expectations is a great thing, but it, it's approaching failure in the right way. Failure, failure is a really, really crucial part of the learning process. Um, and if you look at all the most successful entrepreneurs across the world, they fail multiple times, but they've got the right approach to dealing with that failure. Mm. And what about, you know, even on the side of the sport field, we see yeah. the parents just expecting so yeah. much. Some parents do set the expectations too high, and appropriate expectations motivate, but setting the expectations too high actually demotivates kids. Uh, it's, a, it's good to set uh, small steps and achievements, especially initially, and then kids can stretch out their expectations to something higher in the future. OK, what about if we've got one of those kids, they know how to problem solve, they get the roles in the play, how do we teach them to support other kids mm. and be good people, I guess? Yeah, I think that's something that you model in your family uh, all the way through, where you celebrate their successes, but you also teach kids to be modest and to empathise with, with others. That's real character building, and it's something you coach your kids in. What about you? I'm, I'm a big fan of mindfulness, so uh, my little girl's four and we, we start working on that. And that's, that lets you think about other people with loving kindness, so it, it, it's great for kids building those relationships with the, with the friends. And I've heard a lot of good things about both of your organisations, and I'm hoping to get my kids into Mind Lab at some point. Have you got any vouchers for me? Oh, yeah, we can sort something <laughs> out, <actually. laughs> Awesome, and you're just around the corner. So, Rich and John, thanks so much. It's great parenting advice.